figuring out this, these audio problems, does someone want to start introducing yourselves? Yeah, sure, I can uh, start. So uh, I am uh, Diana Yushan. I'm an application expert slash research software engineer uh, for Upmax, uh, which is uh, in Uppsala, a center in Uppsala in Sweden. And I will be teaching Git intro together with Bjorn. And uh, yes, welcome everyone. I'm Bjorn Lindvi. I work at uh, Norwegian University of Technology and Science. I work with uh, HPC support and uh, research software engineering. So welcome everyone. Yeah. So let's switch to the, well, what we call HackMD, although it's not HackMD. What are we calling it these days? Collaborative document, I guess. So, uh, wait, what's going on? Yes, I guess we will call it different things. So it's good to know <laughs> all of them. So HedgeDoc or HackMD or collaborative document. Yeah. So I still call it HackMD usually. So if you registered, you have a link to this. If not, you'll basically see it here on stream. Um, there's a suggestion for the streaming window layout, but we'll get to that a little bit later. But for now, the point is you should open this if you have it. And this is our chat, basically. So what we do is you can, if you look up here, there's a way to switch to edit mode, which actually it's hidden from my screen here. It's right up above here. You can click the pencil icon and switch to edit mode. And it looks like this. And then if you scroll down, you find this section. So instead of having a chat where people type and stuff scrolls off the top, we have a document. So you scroll down, you would make a new bullet point down here, and you would add your next, um, add whatever comments you are have. And in this case, we're doing an icebreaker. So yeah, if there's anything, um, please add some sort of comments here, whatever you think. As you notice, it's a pretty common thing to do these plus one, plus two, and so on here, if you agree. So this is sort of a practice of getting this working. So we can watch these come in for the time being. And let's see, did I manage to fix our audio sum? I'm looking at the other chat here. Okay, good. The answer was to make the other instructors quieter. So yes, yeah, so as you've noticed, this is a live stream course. Um, I guess Bjorn and Dan have taught in plenty of live stream courses before. Uh, has anyone else? been in a live stream course. So I'm asking a question, so I will scroll down and say, so I'm adding a new point here. So basically, this is like a bar graph. So add in an O if the answer is to whichever answer you have. So notice it's getting a little bit chaotic. That's fine. That's what makes it fun. So it all works out. This is our practice time. Um, yeah.
I'm actually a bit surprised at how many people are saying yes here, but I guess that's probably repeat code refinery people because um, I don't know who else does live stream courses besides us. So, um, yeah, what about, did I introduce myself already? I think not. No, I don't think you did. So, my name is Richard Darst. I work at Aalto University in Finland. I've been a part of Code Refinery for quite a while now. Um, let's see. Yeah, and I've been quite happy to be doing this course stuff. So there's this question at the bottom of HackMD, how many participants can this document support? So that's a really good question. It probably will start to become sluggish. Actually, I have a monitoring graph here I'll be watching in. We've tried to tune it for its performance, but um, you know, there's probably sometimes it will get a little bit weird, but once we start running, the load will go down a little bit and we have some tips to keep it um, keep it running well. Let's scroll up and look at our backgrounds some. So how do you use computers in your work? So lots of people say communication, yeah, programming, scripting, data analysis, writing papers. Okay, lots of people doing mathematical programming, uh, presentations, data collection, <laughs> avoiding work by doing other things. Yeah, reading, taking notes, organizing papers, literate programming for PhD project. That's pretty good. Uh, bioinformatics, chat. Yeah, so I mean, this is a pretty good background and basically it's what our target audience is here. Um, for horror stories of computers work. So why was this a question? So in order to teach people good practices, once I thought that a good strategy was to basically highlight what goes wrong if you don't use good practices. And, um, well, you can see plenty of different problems there. Messages, bad data management practices. Yeah, that's everyone. Remote. I don't see so many here focused on science and stuff, but still, yeah. Well, it is now um, 10 o'clock in Helsinki, so how about we begin? So if I switch to the schedule here, the workshop page. So everyone should be able to have this link. If you go down, you see different important links here. This is basically the home base. Um, and we're starting with the schedule, the welcome and introduction. 